and we are live on this Wednesday afternoon, better late than never, friends. This is Leah and Ryan from the Pioneer Invitational One Loft Race. What are we doing today, Ryan? Besides looking damn good. Ryan's got his breaking uh, haircut. Oh, what the hell's breaking haircut? What does this mean? Well, I got rid of that bloody mop. I was really starting to look like good old Bob Ross. But we're going to start the break. And how does the break work? Hey, Dave. Thanks, Neil, for tuning in. Dave and Neil are tuned in. Thanks so much, guys. Ryan, how does it work? How does the break work? Okay, we got Niagara Falls going outside as we speak. But you're going to have to tune in for the after party show to see the Niagara Falls. These birds from the Red Rockets, there's 21 that have, I say have basically made it through the devil's worst part. Devil number one. Devil number one. Are we out of the devil? Hell no. He's still in there. He's still kicking ass against us, but we're working on him. We're working on him. The break. These birds here, they've had breakfast, they've had their water, they've been basketed. This is the Red Rocket team. They are now going to get hand scanned. We're going to just give you a, just a quick little view of them. Because you guys haven't really seen them individually, up close and personal, since, since we the did dirty, the chipping. The dirty needle vaccine. The chipping, which was, I don't know, three weeks ago maybe? Yeah, three weeks ago. We're gonna we're gonna chip uh, we're gonna scan them we're gonna get them into the crate we're then gonna the show will end we're then gonna hook up our other Facebook feed we're gonna take you down the loft we're gonna go back into their section where they can have an original drink there's gonna be a drinker outside for them Niagara Falls is running outside for them so they can have a good wash if they want and we are going to allow these pigeons from the Red Rockets to break on their own. We don't scare them out, we don't ask them. They can come out as they want. Will there be other teens in the Avery, settling Averys? Yes. Absolutely. At the end of tonight, when tonight's over, I'm then going to go through these red rockets by hand and scan them again. Over the pads. Over the pads. They're not coming through the pads today. I'm going to hand scan them so we see. We've got 21 red rockets. This is the game. Don't lose any. You got a good shot at getting a point. The team that loses the least on the break will get a point. So today is the Red Rockets are up. We will be doing this for all four teams, four days in a row. Today is red, tomorrow will be yellow, then we'll do blue, and then we'll do green until everybody has been broken. Right. And once everyone's had their one day of fame to go out and in on their own, they will all get to go together. And that's as the, the next part of the game really starts. Right. We have to get these birds out, guys. Yes. Do we still have the devil here? Yes. We have to keep moving. Yeah. I can't sit here and baby, baby, baby. I've seen birds that were super last week come down with it this week. We're going to have to keep rolling. We're on a schedule. Here. We're on a schedule here. And if you can't make it, you're out. There's no refunds, none of this stuff. Please, guys. Go Les, ahead. thanks for tuning in. He says hello, Ryan and Who's Leah. That? Les Coper, Coper Brothers. Go to Poland. <laughs> Neil says, Red Rocket recruits. This is their day to shine, folks. This is, uh, we're all feeling a little nervous. I'm feeling a little nervous. You, never, you, never, you don't even know how to break. I, this is going to be a first for me. So we hope you're going to tune in and you're going to like uh, what you see. We're going to start off, we're going to now hand basket, hand inventory, the red rockets. You're going to be able to see up close and personal every red rocket team member, all 21 of them, before and I will they break. You, and I will give you a wing shot. I'll read the number. I'm going to give you a ring sh wing shot so you can see. And I'll tell you who it is. Yes. Here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's start. Let the breaking begin. Let the breaking begin. <laughs> Here we go, from CU, from the York region, 2963. 2963, that is from Troy Spencer, Lethal Justice. Now let's see if the scanner's working. There we go. Lethal Justice. Lethal Justice, this is from Troy Spencer. Take a look, you can see him pretty good, molting heavy through the body. Again, looks like he's got boys. Two, four, six. He's kicked his second flight here. Molting heavy, very loose. This bird's going to love to have a bath, bath. And again, guys, all the pigeons break the same way. We keep everything the same. 
please don't make excuses about trees or rooftops or any of that stuff because I don't deal with excuses. Okie doke. Next one up. See you. 22521. 22521. This is from Brad Wogan. Queen Conk. Let me try the scanner, please. Locked and loaded. Brad Here's Wogan. From King Kong Loft, this is Queen Conk. And again, you can see the molting. Molten heavy. See how loose the feathers are? They're literally. And Leah, here, feel with your finger. You can feel it. Oh yeah. You feel how it's it, it, it's kind of prickly. Listen to the kids. They kids. got some fire in their belly today. The kids are ready to break. Well, we're gonna break something today. And guys, put in your comments below how many we're gonna lose on the break for the Red Rocket. Yeah, out of 21 birds in the Red Rockets, how many got, How many do you guys think we will lose in breaking today? Okay. Next one up. Next Doyvin, 2734. 2734, Carlos Textiera. This is my pick from Carlos Textiera. Locked and loaded. Carlos, if you've tuned in, here is one of your competitors. Again, molting so, so heavy, but the consistency in the mold, look at this guy way, way up in the wing. He's, he's, on, uh, he's, on, his, he's on his fourth here now, but again, molting, molting, molting. Leah, no other one operation in the world does this, eh? Dave Ottaway picks that uh, we will lose zero. Ha! From your lips to uh, God's ears, Dave, let's hope that's the case. Oh. Baby Jesus, if you're up there, hey -oh. oh man, what a, what a weapon, another weapon from Next the one up. Mississauga, 6434. 6434 from Derek Tabatas, Tabatas and Son. This is Blue Streak. Let me hear for the Dingle Dangle. Hold on. Hold on one sec. Try, try her again. There we go. And sometimes, guys, the clock can just have a little issue. Tavares and Son, 64-34. This is Blue Streak. Hammy McIntyre says we will lose two. Two, okay. That's good. good. Put your, put your uh, you know, your, your ideas, your thoughts on how many we're going to lose. And take a look at this one here in the wing. Two, four, six, eight. Kick two flights. But we're just showing you all very heavily in the body mold. Again, they're going to get an opportunity, Leah, to get into Niagara Falls today. And you're going to see what Niagara Falls is once we get outside and get them breaking. We have Richard out there setting up our waterworks, our water display. Ricky's all lubed up. <laughs> okay, guys, here we go. Rodney Petty in the house. Thanks for tuning in. Next band number, please. From Nova Scotia, 20094. 20094, of course, from Nova Scotia, David Ottaway, South Shore Law. This is Mona Lisa versus Black Widow. Dave, I'm sure you're tuned in, but here is your first participant. You can take a good, close look at Mona Lisa versus Black Widow. This is uh, David Ottaway, competitor. And again, still molting through the body, but the face not bad. Not super heavy. I mean, this bird's very old. Look at the, look at the wing on it. Just hold that up, because I know Dave's in, and Dave wanted to see the flights. There you go, Dave. Feeling good, looking good, guys. This is probably one of the oldest birds in the loft. Uh, Neil wants to know what the weather conditions are like. Well, it is uh, extremely hot here in Southern Ontario. Uh, it is, what, about 30 degrees here today? I mean, probably 30 with the humidity. Hotter than moose balls. It's uh, fairly warm here today. No wind, nice sunny day. Yeah, actually it's just a slight south breeze, but that's okay, and humid as hell. Here we go, MVRPC. 301, my man. 301, Neil. This is from Island Paradise Loft, Neil Gonzalez. Petey Pigeon, Neil. This Here he is. You. This one's for you, bud. Scanner's working good. Again, Neil, uh, thanks for coming down on the weekend. Neil was over this past weekend. He got to handle the pigeon. He's putting on even a little more weight now. Ooh, look at the hole in the wing here, kicking that flight. This is Petey Pigeon from Neil Gonzalez Island Paradise Loft. 
Rodrigo says, finally, you have a haircut. Yes, I made him get one today. Well, I, I thought it was only appropriate for our first breaking day that he get a haircut. Guys, we lose all the birds today. We're going to have to shave this shit off. Please, guys, put in the comments below how many we're going to lose on the break for the red team. And that could be for every team because we're going to do this for the next four days. Let the fun continue. Here we go. Bob Simpson is tuned in. Emily says, nice haircut. Next one up, Ryan. Got to look good. From the Mississauga, 6410. 6410, again, from Tavetis and Son, Derek Tavetis and Son. This is Checker Flag. Oh, yeah, I love how you see Tavetis. How do you do that? I don't know. I was once married to an Italian, so. It's, it's Tavares, but if you want to go Tavares, and I'm going to cut I you up on this, Jose. <laughs> Let's scan it. See if she scans. God, the bicker in the back, or I love it when we're in the studios uh, together. Brother, sister, fun. Derek Tavares, there, say it the Canadian way. This is Checker Flag from Tavares and Son. Nice looking pigeon again, all molting again, guys. You can see through that face, through the back. I don't know if you can yeah, see the back on hold, that. Yeah, hold it there. Look at that. Molten, molting, molting. Again, very, very molting here, right in that area. And they're all the same. Our scanner, so we're good. Neil says, no high winds, zero losses. Let's hope. Oh, I hope the wind just picks right on up. <laughs> I don't hope that. I don't. I don't worry. Oh man, here we go. Next one up. King, uh, King, King, King Kong. Kong. Two zero eight two. Two zero eight two from King Kong Loft. Brad Wogan. This is Captain Conk. Captain Conk. That's a nice name. Brad, if you've tuned in. I always like Conk fritters. Here is your participant. Here you go. Look where he is up in the wing. He's got. He's kicked. Uh, what's he kicked? Two, four, six, eight. He's on a second flight. Sorry, guys, I have to count out loud. It took me a couple times to get through school, so working on the old mathematics isn't my best thing. And iPhones can't count flights for you. Nick Van, thanks for tuning in. You are watching a hand inventory of Section 1 Team Red Rockets before they go out this afternoon to break. Giving our participants Still. a chance to see up close and personal the their birds their little cadets their little soldiers before we send them out to break well, next one, one up this one's still squeaking here we go from the york region 2962 2962 ant bar loft troy spencer this is phoenix fire storm that's a great name great name troy spencer if you've tuned in go ahead ryan this is your participant Phoenix Firestorm from Troy Spencer. Troy Spencer flies with us in the Up North Combine. There you go, take a look at the wing. And again, you see all here through the back. Troy's just tuned in, Troy, my man. This is Phoenix Firestorm. You just, uh, you missed Lethal Justice. He was on at the beginning of the show. But we are hand inventorying and getting ready for the Red Rockets to break this afternoon. All righty, next one up from Mississauga. Boy, oh boy, they punch in bunches, these guys from Mississauga. 7340. 7340, Tavares and Son. <laughs> Derek on, Tavares. It sounds uh, better. <laughs> this is any given race day. From Tavares and Son. The, the scanner's working great with this uni, eh? Let's hold the wing up here and get a, get a good look at the wing. Any given race day from Tavares and Son, Derek Tavares, this is your participant. And guys, if you're kind of wondering, well, why in the hell are we posting this on the book here, on the Facebook? We want you to see how they're looking, see how everyone's competitors are molting, how the wings are. And as you can see, Leah, they all look pretty, I call it choppy. Right. They look like, they don't look like my hair. They kind of look a little bit like mine. Like your hair. Yeah. All right, so. And we were gonna do this anyway. So we thought, why not just do a live broadcast? That way everybody can get a good look at their participants. And we will be doing this for the next three days in a row. Every team, we will be going live. Okay, here we go. From Mississauga, 7341. 7341, another Tavares and son, Derek Tavares. This is Eat My Feathers. 
Here we Very go. creative name there. You know what? One thing about Derek, he will always be creative in the names. You know, Derek used to be an Olympic swimmer. Oh, look at the neck. You can see the molds. See how cho I call it choppy? And that's just... And the thing is, uh, for some people who may be new to this, they might, they might look at the pigeon in the camera and be like, wow, that pigeon looked like crap. But they're molting. Why are they molting? Because they're on the darkening. Why are they on the darkening? You asking me that question? Because we fly in the up north combine you go. and you gotta fly with the darkening system. Well, we like it. Um, and again, this is why they look like this. If you don't have darkened pigeons, they may not look like this. They still look silky. But not these. These are kind of, I call them shitty, raggy. They're like uh, kids that went to bed with their clothes on the next day and they wake up and they're all a mess. You gotta have your suit on when you're gonna go race. And right now, they're shedding their old suit and getting a nice new suit. And you're even going to see that if you're wondering in the loft, in the sections, all you see is feathers, feathers, feathers. Right. We leave the feathers in because, you know what, I want you to show you how the molting is going. Here we go. Oh boy, Lena, this one's for you from Portugal. <laughs> zero two, five, eight, three, zero, four. Wow, you did that real nice. Carlos Textera. Carlos Textera, two five eight three zero four. This is Super Pigeon from Carlos Textera, Textera Loft. Carlos, if you've tuned in, here is your Mr. Portugal, now, as Ryan calls him in the loft. Can I? Can we? Can this pigeon technically fly in the Avaria Province? <laughs> I know Carlos is just from down the street in Toronto, but look at him. This is the only European <laughs> banded bird, right, in our race. He should get an award. We had two AUs. Two AUs. One Portugal and the rest are CUs, right? Yeah. But again, guys, this is Somebody's a Somebody's paying attention and her name is Leah. See, and, and you can just look at how choppy, coverts are gone, bear, bear, bear. I can't wait to get these things in the deep end today, Leah. And you know what, guys? Even if you're not on the Red Rockets, this is a good way to size up your competition. That's right. Size you, them up. you saw them three weeks ago or a month ago uh, when we did the uh, vaccinating. We put the little chips on them. Now you're seeing them again. You're able to size up your competition. Ooh, what a nice pigeon this is. Here Ricky we go. Ricky Cruz is in the house. Hey, Rick Ricky. Thanks for tuning in. You know what? That's the latest Ricky's ever tuned in. He must be working. That's okay. Good. I'm glad you're working, Ricky. Thanks for tuning in. Here we go. See you. 9041. 9041. This is uh, Felipe de Cuna. This is Rio. Rio? Rio. Rio. Rio, Rio. You know, Rio. they have great, great hotels in Mexico. Rio. I'm thinking, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, of. I'm going to scan the big guy. Go ahead. Philippe Takuna, this is yours. Very nice. Again, you can see the ears are bare, molting heavy. Look at the face. Look at the molt, like little porcupines. Maybe don't move it so quickly, Ryan, so everybody can look. There you go. Take a look. Hold on. Just see. like we're doing an auction. Well, I, I haven't done an auction who knows how long. Coming up, season three starts in October. Yeah, look at the hole in the wing, look at the feathers, look at the porcupining, as I call it. Look, look, look. Philippe de Cuna. And you, you know what? You can see it just coming almost right off of them, the feathers. It literally, if your hands were wet, Leah, you'd just be covered in feathers. And I like to see that. And I know you do too. I sure do. Lying, I know you do. Next up. You're a little weezer there. Boy, these baskets, Leah, they work fantastic. Thanks for getting them for us. Here we go. From the CU, 2743. 2743. One's got a wheeze. 2743, Textiera Loft, Carlos Textiera. This is Ocean's 11. I named that one for him. Oh, Ricky's in BC at the moment. Ricky, if you're out there right now and you're on the big road, honk the horn three times. That's good. Again, another one of Carl's. Carl's brought them at all different ages. He brought first rounds, second rounds, and third rounds. But you can see, looking good, feeling good. Good luck to Carl's. Good luck to everybody that's in the race that has birds remaining. Uh, good luck to you all. And But the great thing is about this race is even if you've lost birds, even if you have no birds left, you can still compete in the team challenge because the team that gets the most points at the end of the season, everybody on the team wins some fantastic prizes. And I mean really fantastic. 
can't tell you, but I, I know they're fantastic. Uh, CU 2724. 2724 again. Carlos, Texera, Texera Loft. This is the sound. Great name again. Take a look, guys. This is what, what gets to go out today for their first time. Again, we don't let them out from the basket. They will be put back into their section where they can have a drink, chill out for about two minutes, where then we open the loft up for them and let the festivities begin. begin. We will be, uh, once we're done with the hand inventory with these, we'll be shutting down for about five minutes when we get the birds into the loft. And then we will set up another live feed and you will be able to watch live the red section, the red rockets breaking live on Facebook. Woo, Leah, from Mississauga, 7328. 7328, Tavares and Son, Derek Tavares. This is, sing it again, Sam. Ooh, what a great name. Oh. Oh. Could, could have a dead chip. Wish now you're reading the chip. All right, so we not, might have not a... Not reading. So uh, again, guys, if you're on here and you're watching, Leah. I'm going to put a little but, red mark here, and we're going to have to... And you know what I'm going to do, Leah? I am going to, with this pigeon... That's 7328, right? Yeah, I'm going to give it on its actual race band, guys, one of our marker covers. Okay. Okay, so this is the only bird that has not scanned. So there will only be 20 on today's show. And this is why we do this. We want to make sure the chips are working. I'm going to try it again, though, for shits and giggles. Try it one more time. No. No. All right. So, uh, 7328 from Derek Tavares. It has a green marker on it I at the show moment. The bird. Show the bird, please. I'm going to show the bird first, and then I'm going to show you the wing, and I'm going to show you the marker that we have on it. So, let's hope tonight she's in the house. And you're going to hand scan them yep, over the pad hand. tonight, right? So this band will not work tonight, but this is where the race band is. We've covered it, and there's its electronic that now has to be... Taken off and re reallocated. Reallocated. All right, and the show goes on. Okie doke. Next one up. Oh, look, Leah. One of your girls. From the Flamborough Club. Nine five four. Nine fifty four. This is Shania from N D Loft. Norm Armstrong, Dan Horner, and Dave Booth. I got them all right. Good. There we go. Locked and loaded. This, this is Shania. This pigeon, I think, is going to be on my All Star team. Same with the last one. Look at the look at how awesome this little pigeon is. Very easy to spot in the loft. Mm -hmm. And their music was always fantastic. I personally really enjoyed her. Well, when I went to Vegas and seen her in concert. There you go. It was amazing. That is Shania for N.D. Loft. Next one up. Uh-oh, the controversy pigeon. Dylan, thanks for tuning in. Oh, I, I know who that is. You don't even have to tell me. That is uh, 0753 yeah. from Ricky Fife. Ricky Fife, my man, the controversial pigeon. This one will be guaranteed on my all-star team and not going on Ricky's. That is dart. Now guys, we want to talk about a head molt. Rick fight. Look at the head molt on this son of a gun. Molten, molten, molten. Guys, this is the water pigeon. This is out of Ricky Fife's very best from last year, the water crossing machine. Uh, Neil, Ricky is not the computer expert. Ricky is doing Niagara Falls right now out in the back, and you're going to see that once we get them out to break. Guys, he's all lubed up, eh? <laughs> he's lubed. <laughs> loft manager Richard has been working on our loft water feature, which you will be seeing shortly. And you know what, guys? Be gentle on him. Here we go. Whoa, look at this. Do I even have the day? From Central Nova Scotia, 20081. 2081, of course, from David Ottaway, South Shore Loft. This is Champs Double. Yeah, Ricky's always on vacation now. He's retired, so. Freedom 35, baby. Freedom 35. Dave Ottaway, this is your second participant. 
And there we're just showing you the wing. This is one of the birds that's molting almost nothing, very little bit yeah, through the body very feather. Very little bit. And guys, if you have questions on this, everyone says Dave's gonna lose his birds off the break because of the age. Let's see. Andy from the UK, thanks for tuning in. You are watching hand inventory of the Red Rockets before they go out to break. Well, again, a uh, special feature on Friday, we got Bernard V will be in the house. He's coming down to pick up some all in one. Oh, wow. Well. We're going to see if we can get a ponytail cut on him. Maybe. Here we go from Central Nova Scotia, 20039. 20039 from Dave Odway, So Shore Loft. This is Super Verkamen. Maybe not the most creative in the names, but I'll tell you. Nice pigeon again, still molting. Look at how keen she is. She's a real grunter in the hands. And just a little Feathers Elite Pigeon Auction plug. Dave Ottaway will be, we will be hosting an auction for him and his pigeons this October or November, this fall anyway, at FeathersLeapPigeonAuctions.com. Again, you see how it's molting. Good luck, Dave. The last one, the 21st pigeon. There will only be 20 that are registered into the clock. Hoping I did that all right. I feel like I missed a bird. Well, you should. Yeah, that's that one from uh, Tavares. Well, maybe we, were, maybe we had one that jumped the section. It happens. Okay. Central. Nova Scotia Racing Pigeon Club 20036. Gladiators Grow from Dave Ottaway, South Shore Loft. What a pigeon this is. Ooh. I handled him last night in the loft. What a nice guy this is. Super curious. Look at the character in the guy's face. A little bit bigger, a little bit deeper. I'm missing chuckles from, uh, <laughs> from Norm Armstrong. Oh, well, hey, chuckles. We could ask Ricky to go out and check it out. Yeah. Do you want me to go do that now? Well, uh, yeah. All right, well, we can end the broadcast. We can only show chuckles tomorrow. <laughs> well, you know what we can, we can do? If we find chuckles, if we find chuckles, uh, yeah, we can do it with the hand, uh, the Osmo there, yeah, and scan here. him in before we go. There what we go. You, what are you seeing? So those are all of your red rockets, oh. minus Chuckles, which we are going to look for Chuckles. So don't worry, we will find them. <laughs> or unless Ch Chuckles kicked her and we forgot to put it on the on the board. There's no way. No way. I like the name Chuckles. Me personally. You counted 21, so. Uh, all right, we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna take a five to 10 minute break now that we've scanned everybody and- Let's do a half hour. Okay, we'll take a half hour break. So right now it is 325 in Toronto. Four o'clock? We'll live. be back at four o'clock live where you will be able to watch your Red Rockets. Break. Break. And what do we mean by break? You're gonna watch them come out at their own speed. Right. Do their own thing. Okay. We're not shoving them all at the door. We're opening the the, the section up. We're you're opening. Gonna, you're gonna see what we're gonna do. The door. Okay. You have to what? You have to tune in to see how we're gonna do okay, it. Guys, right now, Ricky, he's he's sun tanned. He's lubed up. He's working on the waterworks. All right, guys. Thanks for flying with us. We will see you at four. Leah, great job. Thanks, guys. We will see you at four for the Red Rocket breaking. <laughs>